Hey everyone, I'm going to do a really quick introduction to components in HTML5 Canvas, especially in regard to the project that's due for this module. So I'm going to create a new HTML5 Canvas document, and I'll just change the stage color as soon as this finishes loading, there we go, to black. You can, of course, make it whatever you like. And what we want to look at are components. So you can find those under Window, Components. And there are components for both uh, ActionScript documents and HTML5 Canvas documents. The ones that you see here, of course, are all for HTML5 Canvas because we're using a Canvas document type. And they're divided into user interface, video, and jQuery UI component sets. So in terms of what you're being asked to do for the project for this module, you're going to load in a video component. And when you pull a component onto the stage like this, and it's selected, you can see in the properties panel that you can declare the source, and you can set a bunch of parameters around that. You can also, of course, give the component an instance name so you can interact with it through JavaScript. So aside from the video component here, we also have the CSS component, which shows up on your stage as a visual component, but you can actually just place it on your pasteboard or whatever. Um, you just point to a CSS file, and that's only necessary if you want to change the look of any of your components on the stage. Here, let me dock this and recenter. So the other component you probably want to look at is button. So you can put a bunch of button components on the stage to do different things, of course. And they can each have their own instance name like anything. And you can even change the label in here to uh, read whatever you want. It's not going to display within Animate, but when you publish it, it'll take on that label. You'll note that each of these components has a class component or a class property. And this is what you can use through your CSS, your external CSS file, to change the look of that component. So if you target .ui-button, it's going to change like the font size, the font family, the color, and so forth of these different buttons. So you can kind of play with that and see how it works out. In terms of actually interacting, um, having these buttons interact with other components like the video component here, you're going to want to look at window code snippets. So in the code snippets, you have code snippets for ActionScript, WebGL, and HTML5 Canvas. And when you look inside of HTML5 Canvas, you'll see that there's components. So you have UI components, where you can say button click event. So this will give you all the code to detect and listen for a button click event. And then you have your video controls. So you can say to play the video, pause the video, and so forth. And you can combine these inside of your JavaScript in your Actions panel to actually get a functional custom video playback going. All right, so hopefully that is enough information and helps clarify things in terms of components, their use in HTML5 Canvas, and the module for this week.